gonna talk about takeaway, okay? There's a lot of ways to take it away. Johnny, let me see this real quick. I see players that take it away outside, inside. We're gonna talk about the hand path compared to the shaft plane. I see the face close more, I see it open more. I see some people who just say, you know what, I, I don't even care about the takeaway and come in and stripe a ball like that, okay? You're gonna see a lot of different stuff in this takeaway that you can do. You see Matt Wolf gets in a weird takeaway and then it gets back on plane. Then you see like Rory a little bit more out, but then he gets deeper. You look at Freddie Couples out with this takeaway and then gets deeper. So there's a lot of ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you my way. Why is it important to have a good takeaway? I think the most important reason to have a takeaway that's good is it puts you in a rhythm, okay? When you take it away, it feels like you can't miss. When you take it away inside or too far outside, you feel weird, but you need to do it the same way every time. So what does a takeaway look like? You saw those different takeaways I did. We're gonna look at how I teach it and I would take it away just like this. So take it to the first leg right now. Boom, right there, okay? So I love that right there. Turn around and face the camera now. That's, that's the takeaway just to there, but that's not the first parallel. Now, what would you do from there? Right there, and I would have parallel right about there, okay? That's a good position, just outside, and this is parallel, you're a little high of parallel there, Johnny. Right there, so that's parallel, that's the takeaway now. Now, I'm gonna explain it in detail. Now, down the line, we're going to set up down the line, and I'm gonna put a stick here on the ground, okay? Now, I'm also gonna put one in, Leo, I'm gonna need you for this and just watch out for the camera, but I want you to stand on this line right here with this shaft and just hold that, let's go over and look over there first and make sure that's the right line. Yep. Is that about the same angle? Yep. Okay, so go ahead and set that up. So if I put this on the side of his shaft, okay, there's a stick that's on the side of the shaft, so turn around and face him, Johnny, so they can see what that looks like. Right there's perfect, okay? Now, what I have my players do is I take them away and I go one piece and this thing is not just to the butt end of the leg hits right here. And I don't want this thing to hit him. So do it, do it again and take it back and hit me. Boom, see that came off real quick and a lot of you do that, okay? So the first move away is to the leg, still touching his side. This is pointing at the ball line, okay? Then the next move is he's turning and his club is here in this position and this face is square to his back line. This is also square to his forearm. Left arm and back are in the same line. Left arm is not parallel to the back line. Left arm is parallel to the back line. This arm is softly folded, okay? And that is on top of the plane, okay? So if we took it inside the plane, it would be under here. If we took it too far out, it'd be out here. So what we're doing right now is taking first move away and then parallel, right there. That would be a beautiful position. Now. This would be right about parallel with the orange stick right there and square to the back line. And now we want to hide this club right here is going to hide the hands. Okay, so if it's up here or out here, you can see the hands, you can see. So we're hiding the hand path and that would be about as ideal of a takeaway as you can get. Now, when I see people rolling it inside, a lot of times there's a lot of form roll. There's a lot exaggerated the other way. Okay, so move out of the way real quick, Johnny. So that's how I do the takeaway. Now, if this is forearm rotation, this is internal shoulder rotation. A lot of you roll this right away. So keep this connected here in the takeaway and then continue to turn and you'll have a tiny bit of forearm roll. Boom, just to here. But you don't want internal shoulder roll. So come back over here again, Johnny, without this. Show them some internal shoulder roll first. There's a lot of gap here, okay? Now show them the opposite way, where there's no form or nothing, okay? Now, let's just keep this close and have form roll perfect, right there. Now, that would be because Johnny's always a little outside, he likes it, I like it a little outside at first too. And that would be a traditional, solid, left arm parallel the back line, shaft in, in, in front. Now, again, let's do it again. Now, there's a lot of players who are out here. There's a lot that are a little in and they still get it back on plane. So why do I think it matters so much is if I see a player who's like this and then they get back up to a perfect position and they get it back on plane and hit it good, I have no problem. Raymond Floyd ripped it inside. Freddie takes it outside. But if they took a half shot, none of them took it inside. None of them took it way outside. They all took it on plane for these little half three quarter shots. So it really helps for half shots, three quarter shots 
to have that into a good position where you don't have to try and adjust and get back on plane. So that's why takeaway is so important in the golf swing. If you guys are looking for more tips or more information about the golf swing, I've got lots more on George Gankis Golf. Click the link in the description and you'll have all the info you could ever need.